It's now 6.15, and let's head over to Brian Goddard, who is watching our September forecast for us today. Hi, Brian. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying their day back to school today as temperatures are in the 40s and 50s. Uh, we have just all of a sudden skipped forward uh, from three days in the 80s all of a sudden to late September, early October. Just a few clouds out there this morning. I uh, created just a spectacular sunrise about an hour ago with the oranges and the reds and the yellows. Uh, 51 degrees. At least we're starting to warm up. We're down to 50 in Port Washington. The wind has died down as well overnight. We're going to have these thin wispy clouds over us throughout the day today, and we'll keep some cloud cover overnight as well as a storm system passes just to our south. More rain for central Illinois and into Chicago. For us, no rain today. 45 degrees, 45 degrees this morning in West Bend, 48 Sheboygan and Fond du Lac, Watertown, also Beaver Dam and Waukesha and Burlington. It's a very common number at this hour. It's 53 in Milwaukee and Racine. Around most of Milwaukee County, it's right around 50 degrees, so we have started to warm up, but you notice Waukesha County, not so much. It's pretty chilly there. Uh, Union Grove's at 49, also Twin Lakes. Lake Geneva is 49 degrees and Palmyra at 48 degrees. Up north, we're talking temps in the lower to mid 40s as well. 56 out towards La Crosse for one of the warmest spots in the state. The reason for the cool temperatures, the dry air. It moved in yesterday after that humid day uh, early in the week. Now everything has pushed off to the east and the dry air filtering in all across the upper Midwest. It helps cool us down at night helps keep it comfortable during the daytime hours. We just need some warmer temperatures. And if you're not a fan of humidity, great news. The dry air sticks around the next couple of days. Today, tomorrow, and Friday, very comfortable conditions. Then a warm front comes in here Friday night. The humidity bumps up. You're going to notice it this weekend, and it will get steamy around here Saturday night and Sunday with some scattered thunderstorms in the forecast as well. But high pressure keeps us sunny the next couple of days. As I mentioned, that storm system to the south will bring more heavy rains uh, into Missouri, and Illinois and as far north as Chicago overnight. We'll just get some clouds from it. More sunshine for tomorrow. Then we're going to watch this warm front move in here for late in the day on Friday. That'll trigger off a few showers and thunderstorms toward evening. Better chance of rain likely on Friday night and into early, early Saturday morning. The Goddard gauge, a seven today. Still well below normal. We should be around 80 degrees. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s around most of the area, a few 70s inland. And like I said, late September weather here in the beginning of July. A little bit of a warm up tomorrow. Still in the 60s at the lakefront, but 73 in Milwaukee and mid to upper 70s in the inland areas. But for today, mostly sunny conditions. Cool once again, 66 in Milwaukee and 72 inland. For tonight, we'll drop down into the low to mid 50s as clouds move in. 73 tomorrow, pick day of the week. 77 for Friday with thunderstorms moving in late in the afternoon to the evening. The weekend is warm and humid with temperatures in the 80s and not a washout, but there will be a chance of rain both days. Tatiana. Taking a look at